Alright, cool. Hey, so check it out. I'm gonna take this tire off, right? And then, um, and uh, I'm gonna I gotta jack it up. So there's like a little hard part right here. I'll show it to you like after I'm done jacking it up where to put the jack. Alright. Alright, so whenever you jack things up, you always wanna make sure you have a um, uh, safety. Uh, I should know the name of this. That's cool. Anyway, you can see that. Just don't go on in the air without any of those. Slide my jack into place. Right, so. Okay. So, found the spot. You go ahead and jack it up. Probably might want to know what we're gonna to do today, right? Yeah. Okay. Great. So, I'm gonna try to change my brake caliper and uh, and a rotor. And this is for the passenger side of a 1997 Honda Civic. Uh, it's the same exact process for the uh, driver's side. Okay. So this is the passenger side, 1997 Honda Civic. I'm gonna change the brake caliper and the rotors. Rotor. My little jack stand underneath. Okay, looks good. All right, now I'm gonna take the tire off. Okay, so this is a. Uh, these are 19 millimeter, uh, 19 millimeter uh, socket here. Take off this. So you get a 19 millimeter socket. working with air tools make sure you keep glasses on because you never know when little tiny things will uh, projectiles or particulates will hit you in the eye and that's gonna you know what's worse than fixing your car when you have to fix your eye right so don't do that all right so cool here we go this is uh, remove this gonna remove this uh, rotor right here and uh, to get to that rotor we're gonna get these two screws these two screws out um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so uh, right here is the rotor, right? And then we're gonna take these two screws out on the Honda Civic. Uh, these screws tend to be really hard to get out because they, uh, over time, they get a little rusted. So I'm gonna try to do a couple, I'm gonna try a new trick today. So I'm gonna see how successful I am, YouTube. I'm gonna take this, these two bolts, these two screws, I'm gonna heat them up, and then I'm gonna use paraffin. And I got paraffin from like an art supply store. You rub it on there and apparently it should go into the, uh, the thread and make it really easy to take it out. And you're gonna need an impact hammer to, to get these out. So that's, that's the trick I'm gonna try today. Wish me good luck. All right, so right here underneath, I don't know if you can see it too well, but uh, that's where I place my, my jack. It's this little tiny part right here in the front. So you see, not too far from here to here, see? Okay, cool. It's just that long. So it's right there. It's a hard spot. It's good for uh, the jacks, all right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, right? I'm gonna heat up these bolts and uh, I'm gonna use this thing called paraffin. So this is uh, this is what it is. Um, you can see it right there. 
that's what I'm using. And uh, I'm gonna take this and uh, I'm gonna rub it against the uh, screw right here and uh, see what happens, okay? All right, so this is a, uh, a Burns-O-Matic um, uh, heat up um, torch, right? So, all right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach the head to this. Okay, it's nice and snug. Right. Whenever you use these things, because they're f that, that, you know they produce a lot of heat, and you're going to create a flame. You want to make sure you have, uh, for safety reasons, you want to have your glasses. Don't forget your glasses. Right? Protect your eyes, and you need to have a fire extinguisher too, because you never know what can go wrong. These things are like highly, very hot, and they can, there's a lot of like things that can catch on fire. All right. So don't forget your um, your wonderful like uh, protective gear and. Uh, well, you know what this is. All right. Okay, here we go. Turn it on. I'm gonna get as hot as possible. I'm gonna like put the uh, candle, uh, I'm sorry, the, the paraffin on it. I said candle because paraffin is uh, often, you know, the wax you use in candle making. All right, that's over 30 seconds, it should be good. All right, I'm gonna take my uh, paraffin, just rub it on there. Definitely melted it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do the other side. There we go. Again, this is in the on position. Just press the trigger. Good, it's 30 seconds. It's gonna interrupt some paraffin on this side. All right. So now that I'm done that, I'm gonna try to take my impact hammer and I'm gonna try to. Impact screwdriver. I'm gonna try to knock it out. Okay. All right. Let's see if that works. And uh, whenever you're done with these tools, um, you want to go ahead and um, actually I'm gonna keep it on just in case uh, I have to heat it up again. All right. Okay. So here I am with the uh, the impact um, impact screwdriver. Uh, make sure you have it turned. You, you won't be able to see it because it's all it's dark, but uh, it does have an orientation to tell you that. 
one way is going to be loosening, the other way is going to be tightening. So make sure it's in the right orientation. Right? Uh, it seems like the uh, the bit size that I'm going to use here is uh, it's um, it's a Phillips uh, PH3. That's the size I'm going to use to uh, to get this uh, these screws out right here. Okay, so I'm going to put that in. Right. I'm going to go ahead and try to hit it. Wish me best luck. Yeah, it's stubborn. It doesn't want to come out. All right, I'm going to heat it up again. All right, so I'm going to heat this one up. I got this one loose, so I'm going to try this bottom one. All right, again, it's a good way to go. I'm going to do a little bit more paraffin on this. Let's see what happens. All right. And then now I'm going to go ahead and got my uh, impact uh, screwdriver here. Make sure it's in the uh, lefty Lucy position. All right. I mean, give it a little turn too while you uh, also hammer, okay? So, okay. I'm turning it right now in the correct orientation. So, watch. I'm going to hit it. There it is. Just got it out. And that's how you take off these really frozen Phillips screws on the Honda Civic rotor. Okay, I gotta get an impact hammer. Paraffin works really well uh, with with a little bit a little bit of heat. Can... All right, great. Hey, so I got the I got the screws out with my wonderful uh, 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 Burns-O-Matic um, uh, you know torch here. All right, so what I want you to do now. It's for safety reasons, right? You want to like, you want to make sure you burn this thing off. So I'm going to put this in. Uh, I'm going to turn this off, right? Turn it off, like this, all the way, right? And there's going to be extra fuel in the line, so you want to just go like that. See, I'm burning it off. You can't really see the flame, but you can hear it. Okay, good. There's no more fuel in the line. That's how you want to make sure you uh, keep the tool in the, off, in the off position and go ahead and unscrew this. Never leave it attached. Cool. All right. Remember, burn off the extra fuel in the line. All right, while it's attached. All right. All right. So I need to turn this wheel to the right so I can get a little bit more access to the uh, the bolts back there. All right. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Now that it's turned to the right, you can see there's a little bit, a lot more access to get these bolts off to so make my life a lot easier. All right, so I gotta, I'm gonna take off this uh, bottom bolt here. I'm gonna use a, uh, uh, it's a 12 millimeter bolt. I mean, uh, here you go. Yeah, 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter bolt, 12 millimeter socket. Okay, let's go ahead and get this off. So 
that's that's that. And then we have another one. Uh, should should be able to pull it right off with. Uh, So that's the caliper right there. All right, it's pulled out right there, nice and light, nice and light. Right. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and take uh, this um, uh, to the brake shoes already ready to go. I'm going to take this bolt off right here and this bolt right off right here in the top. Okay, so right here and right here because I got to get the uh, brake, brake shoe holder part off. All right. All right, so I'm gonna try to get the. Um, I did. I, I wanted to back up a little. I'm gonna put. I placed the caliper back on, right here, like this. I'm gonna take this bolt off first. It's gonna be a lot easier where the brake line comes in. Try to do it while it's on the versus like off. So it, this is gonna use a. Um, the caliper comes off with the uh, with a 14 millimeter uh, socket. Okay, so. It's gonna pull it off with a 14 millimeter socket. Ah! All right. So that's that. You can see the uh, the brake fluid's beginning to fall out of there. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this hair, and then I'm gonna like just twist tie it up. Okay, so there you go. So again, I'm gonna grab it, take it, just got loop it through right here, and just I'm gonna tie it up just to keep it out of the way, so that way I don't get brake fluid all over the place. So tie it off right here. That should slow it down for a little bit. All right, cool. All right, so I'm gonna break these two bolts here with this uh, 17 millimeter uh, socket. So there's one there, one right here. Do the bottom one, same thing. Seventeen right there bottom one and pull up the top one. Now here's the top one, okay? And then once that's done, I should be able to slide the, uh, that's it, that's the cow, that's the brake uh, holder right there. All right. Okay, so once this is off, uh, this the, this brake caliper, uh, I'm sorry, the brake shoe holder. Are you? Once I'm done with this brake shoe holder, it's off. I'm gonna go ahead and take this rotor off now. So here we go. There 
There you go. And that's the rotor. The rotor is off. So you can see. All right. 